In the Point Ellis House collection, there are not one, but two horse-drawn carriages. A vehicle tax receipt paid in December 1902 indicates that the O'Reilly family owned two carriages at that time, likely the same two that remain in our collection today. One of these carriages has an open design with no roof, while the other is in a closed style. The closed carriage is in the broom style, characterized by a car body where the driver would sit on the outside and the passengers inside. This carriage would have originally had a door on either side, but they have been lost to time. The O'Reillys had several horses over the years, many of whom probably pulled this carriage, taking the family to balls, parties, teas, work, and other social events. Just as driving specific brands of vehicles can denote a certain level of wealth and class today, 100 years ago, people of means would have owned a fine carriage to take them to and from their daily appointments. Peter O'Reilly was able to afford such a luxury from his steady employment as a colonial and later provincial bureaucrat, including his roles as gold commissioner, judge, and Indian reserve commissioner. While the Point Ellis House carriages are not currently on display, they are brought out for special occasions.